like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. So today we're working on a patch job uh, for a client. We gotta do a bunch of patches, and I'm just gonna run patches pretty much all day. Um, and I decided I'm gonna make the client's design patch applique uh, because I just think applique looks better. And I want you guys to understand what I mean, right? So embroidery in general is always going to be a premium design method. You're always gonna be able to, you know, charge a lot of money for embroidery projects. But I think applique, embroidering using applique enhances embroidery it makes it simple more simple because you're saving time by using fabric instead of embroidering the whole thing but if you think about the exclusivity of the whole thing right embroidery is exclusive because it's not widely available everywhere um well maybe it is i don't know how, how, how do i say this you know when you want your stuff done in embroidery you can charge more for it because it's not easily accessible let's put it that way but if you think about it when you go into stores the scarcity of applique designs is even more so than regular full out embroidery so if you take a client's design and you convert part of that design the large fill stitch area of course into applique even though it takes less time, it saves you time, it saves you money, it saves you thread. Can you charge more for applique? Because it's even more exclusive than all embroidery, 100% embroidery. So in this design right here, the middle of the design is my applique. Um, I think this is a standard regular felt. And the reason why I did that was because um, the middle part of the design was left out of the digitizing because originally I was gonna digit, um, embroider it straight to shirts. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do one or two things. I'm either gonna do iron-on patches, um, well, heat pressed patches, heat applied patches, or I'm going to sew them on. So when you make patches, you, can do, you have so many different options when you make patches, so I like making patches. Oh, and guys, the loaner machine, the marquee, the MT2001 10S Android tablet. I know originally said I, I, I know I originally said I was gonna return it back because it was a loaner machine from Macoma, but I think I'm just gonna end up buying it. So I'm just gonna keep it. Um, yeah, I just changed my mind the other day. So yeah, it's mine now, I'm keeping it. <laughs> There's my applique stitch right there. That's my uh, tack down stitch. Now I'm going to take it off and I'm gonna trim. People often comment that I should be using duckbill scissors when doing my applique. So here's my duckbill scissors for, for those people. In my opinion, it's stupid and pointless. And um, I think regular scissors work just fine. So I'm gonna continue to do it the way I wanna do it. But just to satisfy you, I use my duckbill scissors, okay? So you're happy about that? Yeah. Um, this is faster to me. Um, I don't have that huge duck bill in the back getting in my way, hitting the, yeah, no. Yeah, or, or maybe I should do it this way. Uh, it doesn't matter. Either way, this thing is getting in the way. It's getting in the way to me. Um, I think duck bill scissors are for people that are maybe not accurate with regular scissors to help them not cut the uh, actual applique stitch, but I don't need special scissors. Um, I know what I'm doing, so yeah. Looks fine to me. <laughs> Put it back in the machine right here and just hit start. All right, now there's nothing wrong with following directions and you know doing what you're told as far as like embroidery or anything else is concerned, but you gotta ultimately, I encourage you guys to do what works best for you doesn't matter what the rules are doesn't matter you know how stuff was intended to work if you got a better way to work something that works for you then that's the method that you should go by regardless of what anybody is telling you to do regardless of whatever tools somebody's telling you to use um, 
as long as it makes sense and as long as it gets the results that you want, as long as it gets the results that your clients want. All right, so I emphasize that part. That part is very, very important. So yeah, you don't always have to go by the rules and use duckbill scissors because duckbill scissors are hereby deemed to be used for applique. Duckbill scissors are hereby deemed to be used for applique for, because the makers of duckbill duck scissors are profiting from it and that's what they told you to do. So here's the reality about applique, guys. You can make more money in a faster amount of time utilizing less materials with applique. Even if you cut your fabric manually and you don't have like a, you know, you don't put on a graph tech or a, you know, a laser cutter, you're still gonna embroider your design faster even if you hand cut it. You saw how fast I cut that circle out, right? Um, if the circle was pre-cut, it would have saved me a little bit of time, but guess what? If I would have embroidered that whole black thread, it would take the same design I think about three, three times longer to embroider this design if I were to use full embroidery. So this is how the patches are coming out. I think they're coming out absolutely gorgeous. I think they look great. And every single patch is gonna look just like this on all of my Recoma machines. I love the way they're performing. And the best part about it is, I mean, saving time using applique, applying this method. I encourage you guys to learn the applique method. Um, just sit down with your digitizing software, or if you don't digitize your own stuff, experiment with your digitizer. This stuff can really save you, using this method can really save you time and money and make you more money because when it takes a design a short amount of time to embroider, that saves you time. When it takes you less materials, meaning less thread, that saves you money. That frees up time, then you can make more money. So, just saying. And, like I said, it's a fantastic looking effect. And I know for a fact that my client's gonna love it. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're in the market to buy a Recoma embroidery machine, use my Recoma affiliate link down in the description below they also have a bunch of other great stuff that you guys can check out on the website but if you need some patches done if you need some shirts done if you need some hats done awproductions at gmail.com talk to you guys in the next video guys um learn some applique peace turn up that crank it up while listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby